The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine says Russia continues to use foreign mercenaries in the war against Ukraine, in particular Syrian citizens, throwing them into meat assaults. The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine reported the information. The war-torn, poverty-stricken Syria has become one of the countries where Russia is actively recruiting men to fight. The mercenaries are promised Russian passports and paid work, after which few of them return, the intelligence service noted. According to the report, the use of mercenaries from Syria as cannon fodder is confirmed by the stories of two Syrians, Mohammed Mansour and Wahid Mursal al-Shibli. Both were part of the occupying Russian forces in the Luhansk region. In July 2024, Mansour, along with 14 other Syrian mercenaries, took part in the assault near Svatov. During the attack, the group came under Ukrainian fire and when Mansour was injured, Russian troops refused to evacuate him. Subsequently, Mansour fled the battlefield, while the remaining mercenaries who were unable to evacuate were reported missing. Another Syrian mercenary, Wahid Musal al-Shibli, died in September 2024 during an assault on Ukrainian positions. He was part of a group of seven mercenaries that was defeated. Al-Shibli died of his injuries because the Russian military refused to evacuate him. The fate of the rest of the Syrian fighters is unknown. Earlier, it was reported that the Russian army was engaging foreign volunteers, including Egyptian citizens, in the assault in Vovchansk. Furthermore, Ukraine said that Russia had attracted 20,000 volunteers from 52 countries but did not say which ones. The Russians have also employed mercenaries in the war, most notoriously the Wagner Group, whose founder, Yevgeny Prigozhin, led a short-lived rebellion against the Russian government in June 2023 and who was later killed in a suspicious plane crash. In January this year, it was reported that at least two Malaysians were attending a training camp in Russian-occupied Donbass, possibly run by Wagner. The Russian armed forces are already recruiting directly from abroad. According to recent media reports, several hundred Indian nationals have been duped into serving alongside Russian forces in the Donbass and possibly as many as 2,000 Nepalese. Some have been killed on the battlefield. Dozens of people were wounded in Beirut suburbs and other parts of Lebanon after their handheld pagers exploded Tuesday, Lebanese state media and security officials said. It wasn't immediately clear if people were killed. A senior military intelligence official and an official with a Lebanese group with knowledge of the situation, both of whom spoke on condition of anonymity because of the sensitivity of the situation, said that pagers carried by Hezbollah members were detonated. The second official said it was believed to be an Israeli attack. Photos and videos from Beirut's southern suburbs circulating on social media and in local media showed people lying on the pavement with wounds on their hands or near their pants pockets. Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah previously warned the group's members not to carry cell phones, saying that they could be used by Israel to track their movements and to carry out targeted strikes. Lebanon's health ministry called on all hospitals to be on alert to take in emergency patients and for people who own pagers to get away from them. It also asked health workers to avoid using wireless devices. The state-run national news agency said hospitals in southern Lebanon, the eastern Baqa Valley and Beirut's southern suburbs, all areas where Hezbollah has a strong presence, had called on people to donate blood of all types. The news agency reported that in Beirut's southern suburbs and other areas, the handheld pager system was detonated using advanced technology, and dozens of injuries were reported. A Hezbollah official said that at least 150 people, including members of the group, were wounded in different parts of Lebanon when the pagers they were carrying exploded. Come on.